And I'm gonna do this all over the top of my head, just pushing it up and back. And the size brush that we're using, as you see, it is a 390. It's a medium size round brush. If you want more body in your hair and your hair is finer, you're gonna wanna take your round brush down to something smaller in width. And as you see, as I lay my hair down, it has that nice body right at the root area and that's what you want. If you don't see that, then you're not pushing the brush forward enough. You wanna make sure it's going towards your face and back and one steady rocking motion. Putting the heat on the root area and then following up to the ends. Now I'm just going back through and kind of smoothing the sides. I'm going back to the top. And it's not a clean section, so don't worry if you pull some hair from the front, from the back, wherever, as you're round brushing the top. It does not have to be exactly perfect. And sometimes it's better that way because you actually get more body. If you pull hair from the other side and it falls back, it gives you more fullness. Now I'm just going back through with my fingers and just making sure everything's dry. I love big hair, so now I'm gonna go back through and just back comb it a little bit just to give it some more hold because we do live in Texas so that humidity can weigh your hair down so this just gives it a little bit more body and a little bit more resistance towards the weather and I'm just really going off the part of my hair and just teasing it just around the crown area that way it's not too much and I'm even going towards the front just a little bit just to give it that lift around my face Just wherever you want to see fullness is where you can back comb it at. Now, after that, people are like, well, why would you flat iron your hair after you just round brush it? Well, the reason why I do that is because I still want to have the body in my hair, but I just don't want it completely round brush around my face where it looks too round. I want to have a more sleeker look around my face and my fringe area so that's why I flat iron it just to give it a little bit more of an edge. So I do the front and the sides, but I don't always do the back. I just leave the back round brush because you dry that flat anyway. Once I finish that, I do my bangs just a little bit. using the back and the sides. Now I'm just using a light pomade, um, or you can use a wax, but something that has some hold to it but it's not too heavy, just to make it a little bit piecier and have some more texture in it. 
and I'm just working it through the bottom. When you're using a product like this, you want to make sure you do the underneath part of your hair first, then work the product through the front. That way, if you have too much on your hands, it doesn't get in the front. It's in the back where nobody can see it. And then just work the product through. And then I'm just using a medium hold hairspray, kind of scrunching it a little bit as I'm spraying it. And if you have curl in your hair, it also make it look kind of almost scrunched, which is really cool. It's big, sexy hair for sure. And go back through with your fingers and if you see pieces that are kind of sticking out, or just don't look right, use your fingers. You don't necessarily have to use a comb. And there you have it. Blow dry bob with a round brush.